I'm Doug Apple and my heart is on fire. Luke 24, 32. As I write this in October 2020, Florida State football fans are licking their wounds once again, this time after being thrashed by Louisville. Five times in the first half alone, Louisville busted open huge plays against Florida State's defense. After the game, senior linebacker Emmett Rice was talking about the Florida State defense. He said, we just weren't doing our jobs. Like eight of the 11 would do their jobs and the big play would happen. If all 11 did their jobs, those big plays would not happen. He said, you've got to do what the defense is assigned to do. If you've got to stay in your gap, stay in your gap. You can't be out there freestyling. That's true for the FSU defense. And wow, it's so true for the body of Christ. I've said it a hundred times and I'll keep saying it. Each of us must fulfill our part in the body of Christ. God has gifted us and called us, each one of us, to particular things. We need to diligently seek Him, spend time with Him, and learn from Him so that we can each fulfill our kingdom assignment. As Emmett Rice said, we can't be out there freestyling. When we do, we leave gaps, and that's a huge problem. If you make your life's decisions based on worldly values rather than your kingdom assignment, you're freestyling and you're leaving gaps. Think of God as the coach. He sees the big picture. He's drawing up the perfect game plan, and he assigns each player their part. And then some players start freestyling, leaving their assignment to do something else and leaving gaps where they were supposed to be. Have you ever looked at the church and felt like the game plan wasn't working? Well, here's a huge reason. Too many players not fulfilling their assignments. My friend Rodney has a great story. His church was going through some difficulties and some people were leaving. He thought about leaving that church too and he prayed about it and God laid it on him in very clear language. Do not abandon your post. Rodney's response was the correct response. He simply said, yes, sir. So Rodney stayed at his post, filling the assigned gap instead of freestyling. I'm not saying everyone has to stay where they are forever. I'm saying we all need to take our assignments from the coach, the real living God who is building his church. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So what should we do? How can we discern our assignment? Seek him, diligently seek him. Listen, and he'll let us know with authority and peace and conviction what we need to do to fulfill our part in the body of Christ. And once we have our assignment, we stay in that gap until the coach gives us another assignment. May God bless you today. I'm Doug Apple.